Okay, today's lecture is about cascading style sheets. Cascading style sheets allow you to control the appearance of text, tables, basically anything you want on your page by defining all of those styles in one style sheet file. You can then link all of the pages in your website to this one file. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click text, CSS styles, and down to edit style sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and click new here and I'm going to redefine the body tag. And then as I hit OK, it's going to ask me for to name that file. So I'll call it, uh, I've got two others in there, style sheet 1.css. All right, so I'm going to select Arial Helvetica Sans Serif, and I'm going to make all of my text a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the color to a blue color. And as I hit OK here, since all of my text falls between the body tags, you'll notice that all of my text turns blue. And if I go back in to CSS styles and edit that style sheet, I can go into that linked style sheet and change the look and feel. I can change all of my text basically from blue to let's just say red. Okay, as I hit done here and you'll see the change happen. Now, that's one way. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the look and feel of all of the hyperlinks. And in order to do that, I've got to go in and edit the existing style sheet. I've got to go ahead and click on new here and redefine an existing tag. Now I've clicked on CSS selector. I'm, I'm going to redefine a hover and hit OK. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select a green, actually let me select a dark blue color and then I'll go ahead and hit OK here. And as I save and I hit Done, what will happen now is when I preview this in a browser, you'll notice my mouse pointer, when my mouse pointer goes over one of these hyperlinks, it'll change to a dark blue color. Okay, so we've redefined just two tags, but you can redefine as many tags as you want using cascading style sheets, and then go through the process of attaching that style sheet to any of the pages in your website.